Hi everyone. Hey guys. So um, we're just gonna do, we're, we're gonna try to make <laughs> it as like short and sweet and simple as possible. Um, but we're just doing the this video for the people who responded to my um, Instagram question sticker and gave us questions about our debt free journey. So we're just gonna share um, some of the answers. Yeah. And Let's get into it. No <laughs> okay, so the first question we got a lot of people asking um, what was the first step and how did we get started? So, um, again, we're, we followed Dave Ramsey's um, plan to financial freedom, and he teaches the first step is to put aside $1,000 as an emergency fund. And then if you already have a savings, then you're going to take the rest of the money that you have saved and throw it at the debt. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's And it sounds crazy that you're going to be touching your savings or you know whatever side money that you have, but it's super crucial because that first step is vital to what happens afterwards. And we experienced it too weird unforeseen circumstances are going to happen as you start this journey and like for us for example we um we had a nail in our tire and then we took the car to um to get it inspected and then we found out something was wrong with the battery and all these random things started happening that we had to put money towards to take care of with that emergency fund on the side, that's going to alleviate those circumstances while you're still on track to getting debt free. So essentially, make sure that's your number one vital step, putting that $1,000 on the side and then using your savings um, or any money that you have on the side, throw that at the debt immediately. Yeah, and then we, so he also teaches, so he has baby steps and you guys could like look it up and you know, that he has like this bunch of PDFs out there. Um, so then after that, we listed our debts from least to greatest. And then we attacked the first debt, like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> and you just like find any money that you can and you just throw it at it. Like yeah. we sold um, a couple of pieces of furniture that I had left from my old apartment. Yeah. Um, we got some money from there and I put some stuff on Poshmark. Like you just find extra money and throw it at the debt. Um, and you're listing it, listing it from least to greatest with the balance, not the interest, because that's what he teaches. Um, and I highly recommend reading his book, The Total Money Makeover, because obviously these uh, methods go more in depth in the book. Um, it's a really good book too. And you'll feel like super motivated. Super empowered. <laughs> So the next question is, um, let's see, how long did it take you guys? So a few people ask that, and it took us about seven, like seven months. Yeah, seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half months to pay off um, all of our debt. And like I said before, if you already have a savings account, like if you have $20,000 in savings and you are like, forty thousand dollars in debt it just it doesn't make sense yeah. like your money is not working to your advantage at that point so that's why he recommend and i know like it sounds crazy and it freaks everyone out when they hear like what like i have to flush out my savings to pay my debt like that doesn't make sense but if you really think about it it's just sitting there and you're just continuing the vicious cycle of, of just being in debt and like you're like with the interest rate, like you just feel like you're not getting anywhere. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we followed that and it took us seven months, um, a little seven and a half months to pay it off. And what really helped was creating a budget and using cash envelopes. Um, that is literally the most important thing that you can do once you have your emergency fund and once you start doing the debt snowball, you have to get on a written budget and you have to follow it because if you don't, a budget is just telling your money where to go. And if you don't tell your money where to go, it's going to leave you and you're not going to know like where it went. It's crazy because like the first two months, it was like a little rocky when we were doing it. But 
you know, once we got the hang of things, um, it's crazy to just like see that you have money left over at the end of the month. And Dave also teaches to budget to zero dollars, which is what we do every month. Budgeting to zero dollar basically means, you know, you take care of like your food, like shelter, rent, whatever, heat, all your bills, and then all of your like categories that we call them. So like groceries, um, like cleaning supplies, whatever categories you decide for yourself. Um, and then if you have money left over after everything was taken care of, you need to tell that money where to go. You need to give it a home. Um, and if you're doing the debt snowball, obviously that extra money should be going towards the debt. It shouldn't be going like towards a vacation or whatever. <laughs> you're not really going to be going on vacation during this time and doing yeah. things um, and stuff. So budget and cash envelopes is Absolutely. like super critical. And the word budget seems like it's intimidating. Like you got to go through this extreme process and it really and we even thought the same thing too, but it's just really straightforward. It's just, as Penny was saying, just tell, just putting your money in a home and with the cash envelopes, you really detail what your expenses are in a sense of what you're using month to month, um, on a month to month basis pretty much. Uh, for us, for example, we have, um, we have for car and gas, we have for groceries, we have an envelope for home and when you get your paycheck, whether it's you get paid once a month, twice a week, or twice in a month, um, really sit down and look at that check and decide between this check and the next check, where is all this money going to go? And that's where the budgeting comes in. You look at your envelopes, you look at your expenses, and then you kind of map out every dollar, literally every dollar, where it's going, which envelope it's going to, what expense it's going to, and even when you have that leftover money, take that, throw it in the debt as well because you want to account for every dollar. Every dollar, and we all been there too. Like we've spent money throughout the week, throughout the month, and then we look back and like, oh, where did all that money go? Like, mm -hmm. What did it, oh, I remember, now I remember I bought this or I bought that. When you budget accordingly, every dollar is accounted for. So that way you have that mental mindset to not only progress with taking care of your debt, but also putting your money in appropriate spaces. And it's crazy because like, when we have our budget meetings and we look at the previous month, envelopes, yeah. and we're like, oh my gosh, we have $50 left over from the home envelope. Yep. And like, okay, now we have an extra $50 starting <laughs> next month. And like, you start seeing you have extra money in these categories and then you decide okay you know we have like 200 bucks left over from last month okay we're gonna throw it at the debt yep. so it's really it's and it's the best thing that has happened to us financially is like literally getting on a budget I love that. next question is does your credit take a hit when you pay off the loans good question um so when we paid off our cards um, our credit went up and then I mean I haven't really noticed anything I mean it said like obviously it said the accounts were closed but I think my credit score went down like four points yeah at first with the like depending especially depending on how many credit cards you have and the credit card utilization um, once you pay those off like you'll start to see a drastic increase um, going up as far as your points. So does it take a hit in the positive avenue? Yeah. Um, overall, you're not going to really see something that's going to that like really hurt your credit in the long run. Yeah. It's just something that we noticed over um, through the, each payments that we were doing as far as the credit cards. Okay. Um, another question was, did you have to get a second job? So that going back to um, when we were talking about the baby steps and sorry the debt snowball and attacking the first debt like you know with a vengeance or like a beast um yeah we were like selling everything <laughs> almost sold some things I wasn't supposed to sell <laughs> 
but you we went um, selling crazy. But like, and then also, but yeah, I it's not it wasn't a second job, but I picked up more sessions at at um my job. Hey. Yeah, so I like did private sessions of what I do during the day, so um, just to like help it go quicker. Yeah, it's not to say that you have to do that. Um, does it help with the process overall? Absolutely. So, but at the same rate, don't put yourself in a position where um, you may be hurting yourself in the long run just to get this debt paid off. Like, there's no time frame in the sense of getting it done, but starting the journey is the most important part and doing it in, at your pace and in the right efforts and features that are implemented for it like that's more important than anything else yeah because it really is just about starting whether you follow dave ramsey's plan or another like financial guru that teaches something different from dave the point is to just start yeah because the end goal is to you know, be that free, obviously, but your end end goal is to start building wealth. So no matter who you, um, whose method or system you decide to follow, the point is to just like make that first step to start. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next question is: Did you use a third party to help you pay off debt? And no. 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 <laughs> no. We just <laughs> used Dave Ramsey's baby steps, and that's what we followed. So we didn't use any other person or organization or right. so the next question is what was your biggest challenge and my biggest challenge was saying no to the things that I really wanted <laughs> and then also saying no to like family and friends you know for events or for invitations to go out and stuff um, because it just I don't like saying no to, <laughs> to them but it was that was really it was it was tough but we were committed to following this plan so yeah we, we just had to do it because if we didn't budget for it we weren't gonna go i kind of had the same thing but for me um what was bigger a bigger challenge for me was uh our first month pretty much first month first two months i would say it was adjusting to that whole new mental financial mindset Doing all the recording for everything that we purchased, um, that took a lot of discipline because I've gotten so used to just spending or purchasing things and not looking back on a receipt or just kind of just going along with it or looking at it at another date. But once you make a purchase, we got into the habit of recording everything from that point and um, after the first two months it became second nature. Um, and then the last question is, now that you're debt free, what is your next financial goal? Um, so because we're following Dave Ramsey's baby steps, what follows baby step number two, which is to pay off all debt, is baby step three, which is build a three to six month emergency fund worth, like three to six month worth of expenses right. for um, an emergency fund. So that's what we're focusing on. And then after that, because we don't have a house and we are renting, um, we'll be doing baby step 3B before we go into baby step four, which baby step 3B is to save um, a cash down payment for a home. And he encourages 20%. Yeah. Um, but that's what we're doing now. Three to six months, baby step three. Woo. <laughs> baby step three, then baby step 3B. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, where we have right now. Um, so, again, we just hope that this video encourages someone out there to start. And this is not professional advice. No. We are not, no financial. This is just our <laughs> experience. Um, but if you guys like the video or if you want to want us to do another one, like with more in-depth or to focus on one specific area, then let us know in the comments. And yeah. Thank you for watching and thank, thank you for you. sending questions. Thank there were you. such good questions. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and see you guys next time. Yep. Hopefully. See Bye. Ya. <laughs>